This video is made for mature audiences. Parental discretion is strongly advised. Thank you. And hello, ladies and gentlemen. I uh, hope everyone's had a, uh, a good couple of days since the last video or a good week. Depends on how long it takes me to post this one. <laughs> but welcome to another uh, Indie Games promo. Today we are bringing you a game called the Assembly Planner. Um, this game, on the surface, is kind of similar to um, Stardew Valley in the sense that you're planting things and you're harvesting them. But it has a lot of strong connections with games like Factorio, Satisfactory, and even games like Astroneer, uh, where you're constructing machines to create stuff. Um, probably more closer to Factorio. I've never personally played Factorio or Satisfactory, but um, I watched other people play it and I kind of know how they roll. So, um, yeah, so the idea is you start with a plot of land, you plant stuff, you harvest it, you gain resources, you make a bigger plot of land, and you expand it and eventually turn it into a giant, well oiled machine. Hence that little uh, conveyor belt on the side. Now, I, when I do tab out of the game, it does have that whole muting thing, so I apologize about that if I do tab out. Um, I say, very simple, straightforward options. You have sound, you have music. Music is kind of loud in this game, so I'm going to keep it down a little bit. There's a screen shake here. Uh, screen shake, uh, it shakes just like you would expect. Um, graphics quality, min to max. I'm going to keep it on max because my. Uh, the game is designed to roughly run at about 60 FPS or so, so it's um, keeping it on max is actually a good idea. Um, you have options, like I'm going to erase the safe slot that I made because um, I want to start a brand new game for you guys. That was the one that I, uh, I was trying to get things right for the stream here so I can do this. Now I do want to warn everybody who's watching this on stream as well as people who are going to be watching this on YouTube, uh, Facebook later. I'm planning on this to be an hour and a half to two hours. Normally I try not to go that far, and I know especially on Facebook and YouTube that people who watch videos, gaming videos that long, tend not to watch them all the way through. But please understand this particular kind of game does require a longer than average playthrough to really get a feel for it because there's going to be a lot of me doing um, a lot of setup before I can actually get to the part of the game that this game actually uh, is highlighted for so uh, please bear with me during that particular part of the game and uh, if you guys make it through to the end of the video I, I will thank you very much and um, I normally don't say this at the beginning of the video but make sure you leave a comment on the video on YouTube or Facebook let me know what you think um, I do have people leaving me uh, comments a lot of times people DM me and stuff but please leave a comment and let me know what you think of the video let me know what you might want to see different, uh, let me know what you think of the game. Uh, the developers do watch my videos, so if you leave a comment there, they'll see that too, and you guys can let them know. Um, but yeah, the the official description is, a farming and automation game allows you to progress from poor, hardworking farmer with just a few tools to a lazy, rich guy that watches his machines do the work. So <laughs> that's what we want to try to get into. All right, here we go, guys. And um, yeah, so it's... It's about 7 p.m. now, so I'm probably going to run until about 9 p.m. This is my local time. I just want to make sure that um, I, <laughs> I keep track of that. So the game starts off, even though you set this stuff, it still asks you to verify everything. Once you have it verified, hit continue. And then it says, yeah, use the scroll wheel to switch between the items. You want to open up the book. By the way, guys, the credits are in the book, so that's why I don't have a credits option. If you buy this game on Steam, please read this book. I'm not going to read it on stream very much, but um, this book tells you how to make everything in the game and how certain things um, can be discovered. Um, but yeah, please read this. It, um, I didn't read everything, and I got stuck for a while until I went back to, oh, that's how you do that. So yeah, this is useful. This always stays in your inventory. Um, so here you go, you have this uh, basic farm plot land, uh, you have this farmhouse, which uh, we'll deal with later. You see this farm is like this little bitty patch right here, this is all we have to work with. We have the option to expand, 
and it expands all the way out to here somewhere. Um, it does take a while to get that far. Like I've I've gotten maybe like out about halfway during seven hours worth of playing it, so you can tell this is not a short-term game. Um, so what you need to do is you have these two machines. You have a crafting table and you have a sieve. Now these two items um, allow you to create other um, farm tools, upgrade certain farm tools, and um, make materials and also allow you to expand your inventory, which you see here it says max stack size 50. This means that of all the each resource, each item in your inventory, you can have a maximum of 50. And if you get beyond that, it just throws it away. So it's important to upgrade your inventory often. You also have this hoe. The hoe can be repeatedly used on dirt. You can turn it into this green grass, which you can lay stuff on. Or you can turn it into brown soil, which you can use to plant your seeds. And we'll get into that in a minute. And then we have this blade. The blade is a harvesting tool. When you start out, it's you know it's a wooden blade, it's dull, it's slow, you know, it takes a while to harvest, and then you can upgrade it later. Like we have a, a copper blade here that we can upgrade it to later. And there's also other tools like uh, this hammer, which you can use to remove machines later, uh, which will come in handy, and we'll understand that. So for now, we need to get seeds. So we're gonna just um, you, you can hold the mouse button down, thankfully. Now your mouse cursor, you see your mouse cursor, you can you can go up and down. You can actually move it fast enough to skip over stuff like that. You see how I'm kind of like skipping? Um, but yeah, you can hold the mouse cursor down. And what you want to do is you can see down there like it's giving me soil or dirt. Once you uh, accumulate 50 dirt, you see how it said max stack size is seeded? So that extra two pieces of dirt just got thrown away. You right click on the sieve. And then you can either hold left click down to add dirt in slowly, or you can hold shift and left click. Now the difference is like holding it like this will move it one at a time, but let you do a rapid fire. And holding shift will just dump the whole stack in. Hit escape. Now you notice that it's like there's some seeds popping out. <laughs> what it's doing is it's filtering out the dirt, and as it filters out the dirt, it creates seeds. And we're gonna go ahead and plow open a couple of spots here so we can actually plant it. Now when the grass is green you can put machines on it. When the grass when it's like I said when it's brown soil you can plant stuff. Now there's no need to water in this game. That apparently is automated in this game. As you can see we're getting two of these green seeds here, which are tree seeds, and we get one of these copper seeds, which can which come out of the dirt for each few seconds that the seeds work. And yes, Copper as in the metal. We're growing copper. Don't think about it too hard. So the plant, you do it the same way you would. You did the hoe and you just click. And the nice thing is you can just drag and it'll drop all the available spaces. Oops. <laughs> and if you run out of stuff, it'll drop to the next item. And then it takes a variable amount of time to grow. Once it grows, it turns into these lovely little plants like this. This is trees. And you just hold down your uh, knife here and just kind of like... Pop, pop, pop. Now, because this knife is is a, the first one is slow, so it takes a you know it takes a couple of seconds to do each one. And as you can see, we're getting new items. We're getting wood, and we're getting these green balls. These green balls are what's known as biomass. Uh, biomass can be used to craft other things, and it can also be used in another machine called a composter to create more dirt. You might be wondering why do you want to create dirt? Well. Digging with the hoe, as you can see, was really, really slow. Like, you have to sit there and bang it, and hold the mouse button for a while, and just wait for it. And here, these are the copper plants, and they turn into copper ingots, or copper bars, and more biomass. So you can see I'm throwing away biomass there, because I got more than 50. So now that we have wood, we have copper, what can we do with it? Well... Well, let's see. We'll, we'll throw the dirt in here and make more seeds. Um, but now we can craft stuff. So, like, if I wanted to, I can make a compost bin. Um, since I already have... I don't really need the wood one. Um, there is a use for it, but it takes five biomass and turns it into five dirt. 
However, it's better to just start with the copper one because this gives you six dirt by biomass. So you just click on it to create it. It uses up pretty much. It uses up all the copper that we created just now. But you can either click on it like I did, just go down to the menu or click on it, just mouse wheel until you highlight it with the little white box, and put the composter down. Now, if you left click on the com, uh, right click on the composter, we can drop the biomass in there, and you can't really see it because of the shadow, but it turns from green to brown. And as it turns brown, it spits out six dirt. So now we have more dirt that we can put into our seed to create seeds. Kind of get where this is going. So we're, it's, this is the first stage of automation. We're making a machine to make dirt for us so we don't have to dig up the dirt. We can focus on planting stuff. So we're going to just plant more seeds because, you know, we need, the, we need more stuff. This, the wood, the trees grow pretty quick. The copper takes a little bit longer. Now you might be thinking, well, star, where's the, oh, we're out of wood. All right, so we've got, we're exceeding our wood limit, so I'm gonna stop there. Um, let's see, we can create, um, we can create uh, some boxes, but actually isn't a bad idea. So we're gonna create a couple of these boxes. Okay, I'm gonna, so as you can see, I, I had to click on it multiple times because as you do it, it puts these boxes in your inventory. You'd be like, well, what's the point of these boxes? Well, each one of these small boxes, when you use it, increases your stack size by 10. So we're going to use all five of them and hit tab, open up the inventory. Now our max stack size is 100. So now I can store 100 of each item. You see where this is going? And now we can finish harvesting this stuff. <sighs> And what we want eventually is to make a copper sieve because we want to be able to, um, each sieve in the game produces different seeds depending on the material you put in. There's a couple different materials that you can sift to get uh, different types of seeds. So we want to make that copper sieve eventually. Um, but first we need to grow more of our regular stuff. So we're going to put that in there. We're going to put the biomass in there. Now we're going to cook, up, cook more seeds. We're going to cook more dirt. And if I want to, I can just, you know, smack the ground a little bit here to help my dirt along. Which isn't a bad idea. Especially at the beginning, you need to be able to uh, go as fast as possible. So having the composter and your hoe together, like, very quickly adds dirt. As you can see, like, I've got like 63 now. And the composter will finish his job, the sieve will finish his job. Once the sieve is done, we'll... Oops, excuse me. Actually, I'll go ahead and add another row of plantable area so I can uh, plant more seeds. I can, and you can plant the seeds while they're harvesting. They'll just add to your inventory. And then you can go back and harvest them and plant more. You know, just... Now, the cycle does get... The cycle does feel repetitive at the start. And at the beginning, you do have to take a while and just kind of manually do everything. The thing you want is to upgrade your knife. And then you want to get the copper seeds, that way you can make more seeds. And then once you get those, then the real fun happens. So, hopefully I have enough copper here. I'm going to make the knife. Alright, so we'll make the knife. And what it does, it takes the wooden knife out of your inventory completely. And then I need, okay, I need 12 copper. So, let's go ahead and plant the last of our seeds. And then we need more biomass. And we need more dirt. Here we go again. <laughs> and you see how much faster that copper knife is it's like it feels almost like twice as fast and it's really cool it's really cool too because so, you can upgrade it a few times and it gets like really really fast so yeah we're gonna we want we want to focus on our copper oh yeah while I'm waiting I'm gonna go ahead and craft now what you can do too if you craft these crates you see, notice there's a couple of different crate recipes. So if I crafted 10 of these and I use copper bars, I can make a medium crate. The medium crate is 110. So if you think about it, 10 of those is 100. But adding copper to the 10 of them and make a medium crate is 110. So you do want to eventually start making the bigger crates. But we're going to make more of the regular crates because we need space right away. And your space is pretty much infinitely expandable as long as you keep making crates, you 
keep increasing your inventory size. There is a way to eventually make this plot bigger. Right now, we're not worried about it. We're just trying to get the copper, the wood, and the biomass we need to keep kind of like making more seeds. Because we do need a lot of dirt to make seeds. Alright, so we've got enough to make the copper seed. So we'll make the copper seed. So this is an important tool here. Now what happens is because we have a seed, is um, we'll go ahead and cook more uh, wood. I'm going to cook the rest of the wood and the copper here while we're at it. And I call the term cooking, even though it's not really cooking, it's you know, hard planting. But I, I call it cooking. <laughs> and then we'll harvest all this stuff. Actually, I'm running out of biomass space, so... We're actually going to put the biomass into the, uh, compact, uh, into the composter so we can make more dirt. Alright, so with the copper, we really can't do much else because we it says here we need something else. We need, uh, those are iron bars. And this we need, like, something that looks like tomatoes and something, looks, and something that's plastic. So plastic, we need something that we don't have yet. The same thing for this. This requires um, a different crafting item. So not everything is available right at the start. So now with this copper um, sieve, if we drop dirt in there, and I'm glad we did because we had 100, this is going to create an entirely different set of seeds. It's going to create a copper seed for us. It's going to create an iron seed, and it's going to create a sandalion seed. Which sandalion, iron makes iron, but sandalion makes sand. And what sand does, it lets us make glass, and it lets us make a few other things. So as you can see, the different seeds will have different uses. And you'll be using all of the seeds throughout the entire game. Um, the iron is what we can use for the next stage of our development. Let's see, how much wood do I have? I'm going to go ahead and craft a few more boxes. I actually want to get 10, because I want to make the uh, the medium sized box. Okay, one more. So now this is available because we have the copper for it, so we'll make a medium crate. And then we'll use the medium crate, and now our max size is 210. So there we go. You might be wondering, well, is it worth doing it that way? Yeah, because it uses less resources overall if you make 10 of them and craft them into boxes, because eventually the space... Um, adds up so like the next crate up afterwards gives you like the space of two medium crates and if you go back and do the math for it it's like so much extra wood that you don't need to use. Alright so we'll plant more of our copper. We'll start planting our sand lion seeds. And as you can see because we don't have a whole lot of space we only can plant a few things at a time which is why we want to work on this. This requires a special item that we can't build quite yet because we don't have um, a better crafting table. And by the way, you you don't want to you can't throw away anything in this game. So make sure that you don't build multiples of something that you don't need. All right, so we're going to do that. Now we're going to plant the iron seeds because we want iron. We're going to plant the rest of the sandalion seeds and the rest of our copper seeds. There you go. Perfect. Now let's see, we, uh, we still have room for the biomass. And the iron does take longer than everything else because it does. it is the, uh, a more advanced plant, so... Yeah, and it looks like a little, like a little, uh, metal mushroom. <laughs> and it almost, a lot of things will make biomass, not everything makes biomass. So, it's important to remember that biomass doesn't come from everything. It comes from a lot. So now we have an option... We have the sand now. Now the sand is useful too because guess what? It says try seeding it. So I'm gonna let's take some. We'll, we'll take the dirt out of there. Okay. And we're gonna I'm gonna hold off on the biomass now. Here the crafting table here says I need more wood. Okay. So we have to make more tree seeds. But first I'm gonna play with the sand. So we're gonna just do five sand. Five sand in the the wooden sieve. Now pops the sandalion seed, which, but also pops out this uh, 
seed called uh, automatoes. Basically, auto tomatoes. It's just automatoes. So those are a little bit different. Those are used for something else. Now, if you put the sand in the copper one, and we gotta wait for it, it creates automato seeds, but also creates uh, oilids. And these are used to make plastic. And we need a bunch of these. So what we're gonna do here is I'm gonna put all the dirt in there. I'm gonna put all the biomass in there. And I'm gonna put all the sand in here because I wanna make a bunch of oilid seeds because I wanna start working on getting all those seeds too. Now we do need a lot of trees, which is why I'm planting. I threw all the dirt in there, so you can see why the compost is very important. And if I want to help the composter along, I can just sit here and do this for a couple minutes or a couple swipes. Yeah, this so yeah, this game starts out kind of very manual, maybe a little tedious, but like if you played Stardew Valley, it starts out tedious because you don't really have anything to kind of like automate stuff you're just sort of like doing everything by hand same thing i've watched people playing factorio and satisfactory and you know other games like that it starts out very labor intensive for the player and it gets easier as you go along so the more you um the more you play the more the, the easier everything will eventually become so we're going to plant all these new seeds that we have and let them Balloon. It, take, it only takes like 15 seconds or so, or 20 seconds or so for most of the stuff to grow. But we want to go ahead and just let it. And there we go. Now we have we have oil lives. Yes, it says oil live. You know, like olives, but same oil. And we have the automatoes, and we have that one sandalion. And now we have all of our tree seeds, which we need a bajillion wood for. So we're gonna go ahead and just plant a whole lot of them. Well, can't plant a whole lot of them because we ran out of room. Thankfully, the trees grow real fast, though. And because our inventory size is 210, we don't have to uh, craft quite as often. We don't have to, like, convert stuff quite as often. Now we can let it stack a little bit. And if I wanted to, I can go back and start making more boxes and stuff. Plant more copper. There we go. So now we got the... Uh, we got the last of our seeds in there. Once we put everything together, we'll take stock of what we have, build whatever other machinery we need to build, and continue working on our process. And try to expand this a little bit more. I like how the copper looks like a coil. I thought that was so cool. Oh, something something exceeded the size. What, what happened? Did I have too much wood? Oh, I've got too much dirt. Ah, okay. Um. I've got too much dirt, I'm wasting dirt. So we're gonna run 100 dirt here. So that 210, if I go down to 110, by watching the counter. There we go. And uh, I'll put the other 110 in there. And we're fine again. Yeah, that's unfortunately that's what happens, like if you're not watching your inventory, you're gonna waste stuff. Um, okay, so we need to build advanced crafting tables. So we'll go ahead and churn out one of those. And we'll drop that over here. Now what the advanced crafting table does is it lets us build other stuff. So it lets us build a new table, lets us build iron stuff, gold stuff, um, a custom to create shrinkers, uh, gold and stuff, a stardust collector, which is kind of a later thing, black holes, yeah, we can make black holes, a time machine, and compact sand, and stuff like that. So we, we will need this stuff. Now this is the thing that you really want to start working on is the um, the earth orb with the earth orb um, this allows you to expand your, your working area your farm so but we need a lot more sand and I'm gonna make more wood while I'm at it but yeah we need sand we need biomass like crazy so we're gonna we're just gonna go ahead and uh, craft more stuff while we're waiting for the seeds to finish blooming And the earth orbs, um, it doubles. So if anybody knows the concept of um, a, a base, it's like I think it's on base two or something like that, where it just it just constantly multiplies. So the first time you need one, the second time you need two, the second time you need four, you need eight, sixteen, thirty-two, sixty-four, etc., etc., etc. I think it goes up to 
2048 or 4096 or something like that, so it will take a while. <laughs> so yeah, once we get all that stuff, we can create earth orbs. Uh, oh, I need more dirt. Oh, that's easy. We'll just uh, we'll just smack the soil for a couple minutes. Now I could make I could throw the stuff in the biomass um, collector, uh, the the composter, but we'll just uh, do the dirt the hard way just to get a get a like. Yeah, like 40 or 50 of them so I can do the earth war so I can show you guys that. There you go. Should be enough. Alright, so now we can craft our first earth orb. And the earth orb does take about... It takes like, you know, it takes a little bit longer than everything else. Once you create it, then you can left click on this expansion slot or right click on it. Boom, and you get this, you know, kaboom, and all of a sudden you got one more set of rows to deal with both horizontal and vertical. And then you can see there it costs two for the next one. So I'm gonna go one, two, three, four. Oh, I can only do four. I'm out of iron. Okay. And then also too, because we have more space to grow stuff, I can just go ahead and till this real quick. And uh, we'll grow more stuff. I'm going to grow more iron since we need the iron. And I'm growing the wood because you do need a lot of wood. Because um, you want to keep making those uh, crates to expand your inventory. Because only 210 is not a lot. I'm almost out of room for biomass there, it looks like. Alright, so we're going to have to get the biomass uh, compactor involved here. Composter. There you go. Make more dirt for me. I need more seeds. And of course we're gonna we'll cook more copper while we're at it. Just go ahead and use up all the copper seeds we have. I like how it just pops in like that too, so you can actually kind of follow it around if you're fast enough. Like I said, it is labor intensive at the start, but it does get faster as you go along. Like I said, I'm trying to get I'm trying to get everything situated so I can unlock the automation stuff so I can show you guys that too. But it does take a little bit of time to get everything set up properly. Especially because you want a lot of room to do the automation. You can you can do the automation with what I've got, but I've got so little space in comparison that the automation actually looks really, really cluttery if you have just, you know, this little bitty patch of land. Let's go ahead and... Uh, We'll craft two more earth orbs. I'll go ahead and expand again. And then we got another set of earth orbs, so we'll expand again. Now I've got some decent room to play with. Alright, so we're gonna go here because no, not here. We're gonna go back to our regular table. So we wanna craft this uh, automation crafting table, but in order to do that, we need automatos and we need plastic so we have uh, our oil lives so we'll craft out the little bit of oil lives we have and we'll probably have to make more and uh, also we need more iron so I'm going to we're gonna sift out the sand that we have we're gonna sift out more dirt I'm gonna sift out a lot of like copper and stuff here and then we're going to temporarily expand this planting area because I want to use as much room as I can right now to just plant stuff. And then when you, like I said, when we get to the point where we're automating some of this stuff, like some of this will go back to the green because you can't sit, you know, your machines and your tables on the brown parts. You can only put seeds in there. So let's get some more of these oilets going. We'll get some more automatos going. And we'll... Like I said, we need... You need to get everything planted. So he says, as you go, you'll be able to do more and more and more. You see, like the automatos there don't produce anything except for automatos. The oilives don't produce anything except for oilives. They don't produce biomass. So you have to make sure that, that you plant the right stuff to get more biomass when you need it. All right. So we're running out of dirt. Um, I'm actually going to drop some dirt in here so we can make 
more of those seeds as well, because we need more sand, so we need to produce sandaline seeds. And I should have enough for the iron seed now. No, I don't. I don't have enough iron yet. I need four pieces of iron, so I need to get four iron seeds. Well, I think I only need two. Oh, yeah. I think three of them. I think he, I, I, I keep forgetting. I think he gets two for every plant, so. But still, I need a lot of iron. Now we're doing on a biomass. My biomass is almost full. I can actually start cooking more tables, so let's go ahead and cook 10 more uh, uh, tables for crates. Let's cook 10 more crates. Oh yeah, it's only, it only gives us 3 iron. I forgot it's, the iron's stingy. So we'll have to plant more iron. But yeah, now that we got the 10 crates, we'll go ahead and make another medium crate. And like I said, if we had 10 medium crates, we can make a large crate, which gives us a lot more room. And we'll go ahead and use that now to give us 320 so I can build a bigger stack. There we go. Now we have enough iron. So we want to build the iron sieve. The iron sieve does even more different stuff. So if we get the iron sieve going, we'll drop some dirt in there. And the iron sieve with dirt will produce iron and two sandalines. Now you might be thinking, why do you want to do that? Well, it gives you more sandaline seeds, which is very, very useful because you need more sand to get the other stuff that you really need to um, to produce. Also, too, I don't need too much of it right now. I can't actually make any, but you don't need too much of it right now, but eventually you want to make a few things in glass. It's not like super important. Also, too, uh, like the iron composting bin, you actually do want to make that, too, because it gives you seven dirt for five biomass, so you eventually want to make that. You want to make the iron blade, so our harvesting is even faster. All right, let's go ahead and plant the trees. You can see it's, like, a lot easier once you have more space because you can plant more seeds. I'm just watching my biomass, make sure I don't get over, th if, I see, if I get close to 300, I'm going to stop and um, craft something. I should be okay. Now the big trick with the uh, iron seed is to put sand in it. We don't have sand yet, so i got to make some sandaline. Uh, i got to plant some sandalines. I think I'm going to have to... To convert some biomass here. Yeah. We gotta convert some biomass first. Alright, so let's see. Um, I don't have enough to make more of those right now, so. Yeah, we'll just go ahead and get the biomass uh, composting going here. Get more dirt. And we're gonna plant this massive sand lion seeds we have because we need sand. And I'll uh, plant the copper that I have. And you can kind of go all over the place with it too. Like sometimes I don't even hold my line correctly. And so I need more. I need more sand alliance. I can actually make earth orbs because we want to keep expanding but it takes a lot of earth orbs to expand and plus we need to start building stuff and we need sand to build the stuff so we're actually getting kind of high on copper too but there's not a whole lot i can do with copper right now we need to build some other stuff so we can use utilize our copper better let's go ahead and plant this iron while we're at it I'm going to hold off on planting any more copper, so I'll just plant the iron. Alright, let's see. Uh, um, yeah, now we can also make this compact sand, but we need uh, something we don't have yet. So yeah, for, so the iron seed, if we put sand in it... It creates this, a compacted seed, which is uh, used to make other stuff. 
And the sand only has that very specific purpose in the Iron Seed to make compact seeds, so we will eventually need compact seeds. We don't need like a tremendous amount of them, but we do need uh, we do need a pretty good chunk of them, so. I need more oil and seeds. So I'm gonna actually like use the rest of the sand in here. And if you have leftover dirt, don't be afraid to pull it out if you need to. And then we'll drop the sand in there. And we'll just cook up a bunch of sandalion seeds and iron. And I'll make another 10 of these. It's such a call it's such a nice sound here in the pop 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 of your stuff going. And then of course we'll make another medium crate. It'll give us an excuse for the copper. And there we go. 430 now. You can see where that's going. I'm keep expanding. Now let's see. We can make uh, we need more sand, so we need to get some sand line seeds going. I need sand now. And we'll get the automatos going, we'll get the oils going. And we'll get what little bit of iron we got going. And we'll get the compactus seeds going, just so we can start with our compactus. And compactus is what it sounds like as a cactus. <laughs> but we need sand right now, so... Sand is actually one of the biggest things in this game. Like, you need sand for so much stuff. It's crazy. Sand and oil seem to be like the two biggest things in this game I used later on. Here we go, it's compactus. So I need to make more of these, so we need to make, uh, how many do we need? We need eight more, so. There we go, we can make eight more. And I want to and I want to expand it one more time before I get too much further, because I need to get stuff. So, okay, so now we can make this automation crafting table. Because we have uh, automata, automatos and we have plastic. And this allows us to make conveyor belts. Automated um, seeds and automated compost bins. Harvesters and planters. This is the good stuff. This is the stuff in the game that you need to start using. But in order to make a lot of this stuff, we need crafter cores. We don't need crafter cores for everything, but we do need crafter cores. Now, the nice thing about the crafter core is everything in this game has an auto crafter. So if you have crafter cores, you can make an automatic version of that, which when added to your machinery will um, create things. For instance, like if we want to create boxes automatically, we can make an auto craft for the box. We feed wood into it, it'll create a box, and then the boxes we can harvest, just like anything else. Same thing with the, um, there's auto crafters for like all the tools and stuff, but we don't need to do that. But we can make auto crafter for the plastic, for instance, if we want to just automate plastic. So how do you do that? You use the automation table. The automation table has everything, so we have this puller, which is the primary thing that you can use to feed stuff into. So like if I wanted to make, um, if I wanted to set up a puller to feed another machine something, say like I wanted to feed it, you know, like copper seeds, I could feed this into a planter, the planter would then plant on the spot in front of it, I can grab a harvester, it'll pull it out, then I can make uh, a collector or a conveyor belt or whatever to take those and then either put them in my inventory and move them around. So I'll, sh I'll show you guys that one because it's really cool when you get that set up. Um, but I do need to make uh, another, I need to make uh, two iron composters though. That's the reason, I'll show you guys that in a sec. Um, Right now, I'll just make one. I do need to make two eventually, but I'm not going to put it out here. I'm actually going to use it in a machine. But let's uh, let's cook some more materials. Let's go ahead and just man manually create some more materials one more time. And you're still going to manually create materials for a while. It's just a question of like how much more you're going to do it. And I think we made enough there, right? Yeah, there we go. And we'll expand that one more time. So now we're in a good position. We're, we have a good size field to work with where we can actually put some automation out and then we can still do our manual stuff we can still do manual labor if we want but the goal in this is to actually just turn it into an automation facility 
But, uh, like I said, it, like I said, it does take some time. Like I said, if you if you're not the type of person who likes to like you know do a lot of this stuff, it might not be for you. If you're used to playing like like I said, Stardew Valley and stuff like that that starts out kind of manual, you you'll have you'll have a good time with this game. It's a nice relaxing thing to do. It's like there's not a whole lot of stress. It's just you know. It's a lot of space management. You, you do have to have some level of space management. Like if you can, if you know how to use a piece of graph paper and draw this stuff out, you could be a master with it. Like if you're a Dungeons and Dragons player, like you use the graph paper, and you could be a, a master uh, of doing this. Right, let's plant those. The copper seeds I'm not going to worry about. I'm going to wait for those to grow. I'm going to harvest them and I'll, I'll move on. Come on. I forgot it takes a few seconds. There we go. Alright, so now we have probably about everything we need. I've got to turn some of this back into regular regular green. Alright. So now what I want to do... Um, there's a couple different ways I can do this, okay? Um, if I make a planter... I can do one. I can do it a couple different ways. I can make a planter um, to craft certain things and kind of keep things going, and eventually make stuff. Um, you have to know what you want to do. So this space I'm going to use for a planter. That much I know. Um, so we're going to create our first planter. A planter requires. Uh, Plastic, automatoes, and wood. So we'll go ahead and plant one. Now we can make an upgraded version, planter two, because we have copper and we have more plastic. So we'll make one planter two. And then I'll actually put planter two here. And then you can rotate it by hitting R. So I'm going to put that there. Now it's going to use two spaces. So we're going to go one, two, like that. That's where the next machine's going to be. Um. I realize I need more plastic before I get too far. So we'll go ahead and burn all of our automatos and make more plastic sheets. Um, next thing I want to make is I want to make a harvester. Oh, wrong table. <laughs> so we're going to make a harvester. So harvester, same thing. You just use automatos, wood, and plastic. And then we can upgrade it by using copper to harvester 2. Now what this does, each level of planter adds one space. So planter 1 would do this space, planter 2 does two spaces. Planter 3, and then finally Planter 4. And Harvester does the same thing. Harvester 1 will grab the space in front of it. Harvester 2 will grab the two spaces, etc., etc. Now the way this works is that blue is input. Orange is output. So what we're doing is that we have to find a way to input seeds into this for it to spit the seeds out. And then the grabber will grab it, the harvester will grab it, and output it here. And this is where things get really fun with the automation. So we can decide, do we just want to directly put it into a box and put it in our inventory, or do we want to try to get fancy and make stuff? So say like, I'm going to make a couple of trees here, okay? We're going to, we're going to have to make some tree seeds. Um, so let's actually put some dirt in here. Let's, uh, let me make a, let me make a, let's see, about 40-ish. Yeah, we'll do that. We'll, we'll make about we'll, we'll make a handful of tree seeds, okay? Now the um, the other thing is we need to make uh, another sifter, and we need to make a composter. That's why I have the composter right, because we actually have to make an automated composter to turn the biomass back into dirt. Now with the uh, now we have to remember that when we create uh, a tree, we have to know how much we're getting out of it. So the tree gives us two of each. It gives us two biomass and two wood. So this is going to give us four of each every time we do this. It's important to remember that. Because um, you want to make sure that if you're going to make something self-sufficient, you have to make sure there's enough there to make what you need. Now remember too, the sifter will make one seed for us. Now we do have the problem of it making a copper seed, which we don't want to feed into this machine because we don't want to start mixing copper in here. We just want to do trees. So we're going to have to get kind of fancy with how we lay this out. So what we want is we want to put a sifter 
in such a place where the copper gets pushed into a box or into something else and the um, the the tree seeds gets pushed back into the planter. So what I need to do now is make a few other items. So I need to make a couple of these. And as you'll notice because we need so many we need so much plastic for everything and we need like glass and other stuff. We're gonna have to start crafting other things, which means while we're doing this, we're gonna have to keep planting. So I'm gonna craft ten glass right now. I'm actually need more. Let's see, we're gonna plant. I'm gonna do the let's see, how many do I have? 103, so I'm gonna do I'm gonna do 50. So this side will go down to 53. Okay, so we need to make more seeds for certain things, and then we're gonna put. Uh, I'm gonna put. Oh, actually, I'm just gonna put all the dirt in there. I need to make a bunch of sand, sand, sand lines. So while those are churning, um, we made this iron composting bin. We have to turn it into an automatic iron composting bin. Which means we have to take the composting bin and add automatoes and plastic to it. And now we have an automated composting bin, which will provide us the dirt we need. And we also need to make another wooden sieve, but we have to wait until this table's done because it's made glass. <laughs> and we specifically are going to use another wooden sieve for this because the wooden sieve will give us the tree seeds we need. So this is the part where I'm kind of stuck waiting for stuff. Um, let's see, we'll, we'll throw out the automatoes, we'll throw out the uh, oilers while we're waiting. I'm not using the uh, the tree seeds right away because I, I want to hold off on those. I usually end up using a couple to remember my math. So there's a little bit of brain work involved in this. Um, Go ahead and just clear those out so we have our so we have our extra materials ready. All right, so the glass is done. So we need to make an, another wooden sieve. So we'll go ahead and craft that. And then we'll go to our automation table. We'll make an automatic wooden sieve. All right. So now this is where it's going to get fancy. All right. So we're going to make uh, we're going to have wood and um. Wooden, uh, or biomass. <laughs> like, I lost where I was. We're gonna have wooden biomass come out of this, so I need to make a few. Uh, hold on. I need to make a few, uh, conveyor belts. So I'm gonna make, uh, five. No, I'm gonna make ten. And I need to make a couple of these conveyor filters. These allow me to split my. Allows me to send one thing one way and another thing another way. And I'm gonna need, uh,. I think I need two of them for this. All right. So what we want to do now, now with the the conveyor belts, you have to rotate them in the direction you want the thing to go. So if I point it up, oh yeah, I forgot. Uh, I didn't want that. I didn't want that. I didn't want the book. I want the hole. So you see what I mean? Like it, it won't let you put machines on here. So. I want to point this up, and what it'll do, it'll automatically add the turn to it. So it'll it'll let me go sideways like that. And um, I gotta I gotta reverse till everything now because I want to turn this into. Uh, I need to turn this into usable land that's gonna be for the machines. Now here we can put our first conveyor filter. So you want the orange side to take it and then the blue sides will split it. This is where things get a little fancy guys. <laughs> so we're gonna put one I'm gonna put um if you hover over it there's two arrows that pop up. If you click on the arrow it'll say choose the filter. So I want the wood to go this way. So you select wood and then you click on the other one and you select biomass. And then we're gonna plant one tree seed here to test it to make sure that we got our arrows going in the right direction. Now what happens in this situation is that they just kind of dump on the ground. So you have to manually pick them up. So 
We got the biomass going the right way. We got the wood going the right way. We got what we need. All right, so now for the next step, I need to create uh, a couple of these crafter cores. So I'm gonna I'm gonna create five just to make sure I'm I'm good. There we go. And then I'm going to create uh, small crates here. So in order for me to make a small crate automated, I have to go here to small crates and I have to click on auto crafter. And then what it does, it makes me a small crate crafter. Now remember what I said about the blue and the orange, so we want the blue to face the conveyor belt where the blue is pointing there, so it'll take the wood into the small crate crafter, and then it'll spit, once it gets enough wood, if, remember it takes 10 wood to make a small crate, then it'll spit the crate out the other side. Now I don't want it spilling on the floor, so I'm going to go back in here and create an, a collector box. The collector box does require a, craft, uh, a, uh, a crafter floor. So you make a box. The box is yellow, is blue on all sides. It's orange on the top, which means when it's done, it just sends your inventory. So we're going to put the box right there. So now that we have that, we need to uh, get our biomass going in the right direction. So we're going to make another turn there. Now with the biomass, I want to divert my biomass in such a way that it's going to go into uh, the copper is going to go into storage. Now I could make a bunch of crazy. Um, I could make a bunch of crazy extra stuff here to do this. Oh, I put that in the wrong spot, by the way. Or dirt. Um, okay. So what happens when you screw up? <laughs> you need to build a hammer. Uh, where's the hammer? Yeah, there we go. You need to build a hammer, so we're going to build a hammer since I screwed up. And the hammer will let you <laughs> pull something up. You don't lose anything. Even if you pull up an auto crafter, you don't lose it. It just converts back into a crafter form. Alright, so yeah, we don't need that. So we're gonna take our uh, we're gonna take our boy here. And we're gonna do. Yeah, we're gonna do that. Uh, but I did th I did that wrong again because I don't want it. I want it to actually point up. So gotta remember to rotate it right. So I want this to point up. Why? Because I'm gonna put the second one on here. And this is where things can get kind of fancy. So if I want to go to this storage unit here, for instance, we can do that. And uh, I can select. No, I did that wrong. I did that wrong. Ha <laughs> ha! I did that wrong. Like I said, nice thing is we have a hammer so we can undo it. I forgot, we have to go to the biomass reactor first. <laughs> we have to go to our biomass reactor first. Okay, so we need to um, go this way. And then we're going to go into our, our biomass composter. That's going to take our biomass and convert it into seeds. And we're going to point the orange one up. That's what I wanted to do. And then we're going to take our our guy here. And we're going to turn it that way. So now what we're going to do is we're going to take... Uh, we want our tree seeds to go that No, we want our dirt to go that way. So we're going to click dirt. I'm thinking, hold on, I screwed that up again. I'm, I, I'm thinking one step too far ahead of myself. Now we're going to go like this, because that's just going to convert biomass into dirt. And then we're going to put the dirt in here. This is what I'm thinking of. So we're going to put the dirt in here. Then we're going to put this in here. That's what I'm trying to do. <laughs> I swear I've done this. That's the fun thing about this. You have to kind of think about it. All right, so now we want on this side... We want our tree seed to go back this way. And then on the other side, we want our copper seed to go that way. And uh, if everything works as intended. So what we're going to do here is this. We can manually add uh, five biomass to it. Just to check out to make sure that we're doing that right. So first we're going to put the biomass in there. It's going to put the, the dirt in there. There's going to be some extra dirt left over because we're using seven. There we go. Tree seed went the right way. 
Carpool went the right way. Alright, now! <laughs> now, now we're gonna. So now, I'm gonna turn this this way. That's gonna go back into the planter. This is going to go here. So now, in theory, in theory, what's going to happen here? We'll put the two tree seeds down, and if this works the way it's supposed to, all right, the wood goes into the crate thing. The bio, the biomass goes in there. We don't have enough biomass because I only have four, so we're gonna put five in there just to get it going. Then the dirt goes in there, and then it's going to sift out the seeds for us. The copper goes that way. The tree seed comes back down. We got more trees. And there we go. So, the problem with this is we don't have enough to make this self-sufficient. We need... We need a starter. We need to make sure that this can actually survive on its own. So, how do you make this survive on its own? Well, you can. We can add in tree seeds into here and feed tree seeds into it um, by using one of our pullers, or we can just manually add them in there, get it started, and see how it goes. So, this is where we can just we'll drop in all the tree seeds and see how it goes. See if it's fast enough. And there goes the crate because we had enough wood. See as the biomass goes in there because we get we're getting enough biomass. And there goes the seeds. Now the big question is do we how, how are we doing with seeds? It's, it might not be fast enough because we might not be getting enough. If for whatever reason we're not getting enough, we'll have to upgrade it again. But this is the automation part of the game. This is where you kind of like start making stuff. And you can see the uh, the copper seeds are just getting shot in my inventory. Now if I wanted to, I could make a copper processing facility, grow the copper, run the biomass back into the, uh, you know, the biomass uh, fill the thingy. And we could get really, really complicated with it. Like I said, this might be going just fast enough to be self-sufficient. I want to see if it runs out. That's about five seconds. That's about five seconds. That's about... I think that's a little bit more than five seconds. No, that's about five seconds. So everything's running on a five second... Oh, hey. Uh-oh. Did my game freeze? My game froze. Hold on. Game? Uh oh, what the hell? I think my game just crashed. <laughs> okay, um. Yeah, my game just crashed, guys. Well, this is unfortunate. Bear with me this moment. Not responding. Hmm. Well, it looks like, guys, unfortunately, I might be starting over because I never see. I'm going to give the game a second, hopefully it'll kick up, but if it doesn't, I'm going to be starting over. Which is going to be unfortunate. The game did not crash when I was doing my test though, and I ran it for a long time. Which is bothering me. Yeah, it doesn't want to kick back up. Come on. Alright guys, I'm sorry, but it looks like we're going to be restarting the game. 
because it doesn't want to uh, unfreeze itself. That's unfortunate. That is unfortunate. <laughs> that's the <laughs> I think that's the first time that's happened on stream here. So how much time did I lose? I lost about... I lost almost an hour, guys. Oh, boy. I don't know. Maybe it, maybe it remembers where it was. I, unfortunately, have to do something real quick here. And uh, I apologize, guys. I didn't think this was going to happen in the middle of the stream. We're going to have to run a file verification on it first. We're going to have to check to make sure the integrity didn't crap out. Okay. Well, I th like I said, I think I just lost everything. I might It might have saved. I hope. Continue. Okay, good. It saved. All right, it saved. <laughs> Good. The game actually auto saved. I'm glad. All right. So developers, shout out for the auto save feature. Thank you. I don't know how much progress we lost, but so shout out to the developer for thinking about that. Yeah. So we got six seeds. We have eight seeds. We have six again. We have, okay, so this is self-sufficient now. It's producing just fast enough. It's going to make us endless boxes and give us endless copper. So you might be thinking, well, Star, what if you want trees to make other stuff? Well, that's why we can make more automation or we can just... Oh, God, the screen shakes back on. I forgot about that. Okay, so yeah, this is where we can just make our own... Um, Manual, this is where the manual labor part comes in. We can go back and manually create more as we go. And I'm going to drop some more sand in here. So yeah, to act, to prevent ourselves from accidentally clicking on our setup here. Now the cool thing is, too, is... Um, you can do a little bit of both. So like I said, we've got manual going, we have automated going. Just sit back and relax and enjoy the automation. It's awesome, isn't it? And I said every we got the wood going in the crate thing here. See, it stores up four wood at a time. We have our wonderful composter, which only gets four every time, but because these go so fast, is creating. Like I said, it's create seven dirt, so this is actually able to run a couple of different cycles while it's waiting for more dirt. It's an amazing little thing. And that's just basic automation, guys. That's the like the basic automation you can do. The most basic one you can do is a puller, like an auto crafter, and a box. Just three pieces. I mean you could even do two. But so yeah, now that we got that going, we can kind of do, you know, like so we can do other stuff now. So yeah, like I've got the boxes I need so I can manually create a wooden a medium crate, which I'll do. Bigger stack size. And we can plant more stuff because we need more stuff. So let's go ahead and just plant. Let's just go ahead and plant away. And while, like I said, while the automator is doing this thing, and if any time we want to stop our automation system, we just have to take out the harvester. Taking out the harvester will stop all the automation because the harvester is the thing that's pretty much feeding everything else. Like everything else will work, and it'll just store in those individual machines until it's ready, but the harvester is the thing that keeps it going. We're going to make a bunch of sand alliance here, so... Now, because we are working with less space overall for our manual planting, uh, that means we can't do nearly as much on our manual side, but because we have the automation going, that makes up for it. Like I said, that's what, this is the part of the game that's really cool, and I'm glad that, that the autos, there was an auto save in here. Yeah, so that's a big help. Yeah, 
and we'll just manually do this. Now, of course, we can automate literally anything we want. Like, we can eventually, you know, have a thing crafting sand to create glass or turning the sand into other stuff. We can make it as complicated as we want. We can make this as complicated as we want. The only restriction is the, the space here which we need to make a bajillion more of those earth orbs. So I can only make nine right now, so... We'll let those nine go, and then we'll um, work on processing the rest of the materials that we need to keep going. Now you might be wondering, where do we get gold from? We haven't seen gold yet. Oh, I'm out of biomass. Um, oh, let's just go ahead and create more dirt. We need more dirt anyway, so... I'll dump the whole stack of biomass in there. Actually, I shouldn't have done that. Let me get back 100 of them. I forgot, I need biomass to make earth orbs, so let me save some of it. I see you can make this huge if you want. Alright, so we've got okay, I gotta make more of these, so. Alright, so seven more to give us the sixteen. We need to upgrade our space again. And the nice thing about a box like this is there's four different intakes. So if I wanted to use this box to say like, you know, take something else, I could easily build around it and have it take something else that I need. Like if I put a mini machine in here to like say craft like other stuff, like if I wanted to craft plastic automatically for instance, and I just wanted to feed olives in there to create plastic, then I could just make like a little feeder, a little pusher with olives, and then have like another auto crafter creating plastic for me. And I could put it in those two spots right there because it wouldn't take up a lot of room. Which actually probably isn't a bad idea. Let me go ahead and do that. So we'll go ahead and create a pusher right now. And we can't because we need plastic. <laughs> Let's create some more plastic first. And, well, I have to wait until that's done so I can make more boxes. And so if I wanted to here as well, I could take the small crate thing and put it into a medium crate thing. I would just need an uh, intake for copper. Or I could just manually drop a bunch of copper in there every once in a while. And just let it store it infinitely or until it runs out of stack space. Alright, so let's go ahead and create a couple more of these. I'll just run a couple more coffers there. Alright, so now we can expand it again. Now we need 32. See how this is going? But yeah, we want to create this transmutation table. We need gold for that. So how do you make gold? Well, you see this compact sand here? This compact sand is the only way to make gold, but you need to make a bunch of it, which is why we need a, a bajillion sand. Putting that along with the um, compactness, which again we need sand for. So we can create, we'll create a bunch, we'll create as many of them as we can. We'll do ten. So we'll make 10 of those, that'll eat up the sand that we have, but we can make you know, more sand pretty easily by, uh, oh, let's drop the rest of the sand in there. I can't, I can't remember, this makes sand alliance, right? With the dirt, yeah. And we'll just drop all the dirt in there and make more sand alliance. Had to remember. We need more sand alliance. Like I said, if I wanted to get fancy with this, I could turn, um, I could move this over a little bit if I wanted to, add in some extra stuff to 
give it more um, production if I wanted to. Or I could put in a large crate thing just by adding in a um, and a couple other items if I wanted to. But we're going to leave this the way it is because this is pretty cool. Like I said, if we ever need to stop this, I can just hammer this off and it'll shut the whole system down. So it's useful. Alright, how are we doing on copper ingots? So I got plenty of them. We'll create the copper ingots because I need more biomass anyway for other stuff. So we'll just go ahead and grow all the copper. And we'll just enjoy the <laughs> we'll just enjoy our little uh, symphony down here of endless con endless construction. And so once you get something like that working where it's like self-sufficient, then you know, there's so much more stuff you can do. Like you can you can make a lot of things self-sufficient eventually if you do it right. And then you can add in stuff to like craft other things that you need so you don't have to wait so long. Okay, so we can store up to 650 now, so we can just get 650 copper ingots out of this. Throw some more oilers. Throw some more automatoes. Start working on the sand lines. We need a bajillion sand. And this is the part where, like, getting more than one of a particular thing might not be a bad idea like if since I've got this one iron sieve working on like that I could build a second one and have it doing the compact sand for instance to make my gold that I need and we got more boxes so hey let's uh, craft a couple more medium crates there we go And now you see we have gold seeds. We only have two gold seeds because it takes a lot to make them, unfortunately. We need a lot of compacted seeds to make uh, gold out of, so we have to. We need a lot of sand. So we almost pretty much have to constantly be building sand now to make gold. Like eventually, there is another way to make gold, and we won't need. Hey, Paladin, how's it going, brother? So eventually we won't need to compact the compactus seeds to do that, but for right now we have to make we have to grow compactus seeds so we can actually make uh, a proper amount of um, gold. So let's go ahead and uh, see. Uh, we'll put in 50 sand, so this will be down to 62. Yeah, this game is all about automated farming. So when you start off Paladin earlier, you start off, you just have like a small patch of ground, eventually you can expand it, and then you learn how to do stuff like this, where you can kind of automate certain things. Like right now I'm automating the growth of two trees, and the way this particular little machinery thing here is working, is that these two trees grow, this grabs it, goes to this conveyor belt, this conveyor belt separates the wood, and then the biomass, which is like the leftover plant material. This compost the plant material into dirt. This dirt creates tree seeds, which go back into the planter, and copper seeds, which goes into this box. The wood goes into this thing. When I get 10 wood in there, it creates a crate. And then I can turn those crates into more inventory space to hold more items. So right now, this is fueling itself because it's making enough biomass to make enough dirt to make more seeds to feed the planter. So it's just kind of looping by itself, and I don't have to do anything to it anymore. And if I want to stop it, I just have to break this thing out, out of the ground, and it'll stop the whole production line for me while I um, do other stuff. So it's, really, yeah, it's, it's a really cool game. I'm enjoying it. I had to spend a lot of hours kind of getting used to how to do this because I wanted to make sure that I could... Um, showcase the automation pretty quickly like that's only a small amount of the automation there's a huge amount of automation I need to do still so I'm gonna be working on that uh, as soon as I get enough materials I need a lot of materials to like upgrade some of my stuff to gold and I in order for me to make gold I have to grow this stuff I don't want to like 
I don't want to build like too much automation for that because I'm gonna... The automation can get a little complicated <laughs> if you're not careful, like you can end up not doing something right. And I want it to be about as self-sufficient as possible when I do it, so I can just kind of ignore it and just shut it down when I don't need it. So you literally plant everything. You start off with nothing. You have to. You start off with like a, a wooden seed that can process the dirt to make the trees and the copper, and then you plant the copper. Yeah, you plant metal, by the way. Uh, you plant the copper in the trees, and then you eventually uh, get the materials to build better equipment that will make different seeds and different equipment. You just kind of keep going. But yeah, how was your day, man? Hope you're hope you were having a good one, brother. And then I'm gonna, since I got 10 regular crates from my machine, build another medium crate to increase my inventory size. Um, hey, these are the compacted seeds, right? Yeah, I gotta grow those. I'm gonna grow those, and I'm gonna grow those two gold seeds. I need, uh, let's see, what do I need now? I need, I need a lot more compacted seeds. I can grow two more of these while I'm waiting. And we got a bunch of dirt here, so I'll just go ahead and get that dirt going. Let's see, and the sand, I'll do... Oh, let me take that dirt out of there. Let's see, we'll put another... I'll put a hundred... Actually, no, I'll just go ahead and throw them all in there. Hold it. We'll throw them all in there and make more compact the seeds so I can get more comp compactuses. And we got our first couple of gold bars. Um... I should be able to... Oh, I need more iron. Uh, oh yeah, I'm going to get more iron seeds. Oh, I got plenty of iron seeds. Oh, man. I forgot when that thing makes uh, sandalines, it makes iron. So let's get the iron going. Yeah, I saw that, man. That sucks. Hopefully it's an easy fix. It's not, you know, anything too serious. And now let's uh, harvest our iron. I gotta upgrade my tool again so this goes faster because this space is starting to get pretty huge. And I do need to grow regular trees again so I can get more wood for uh, crafting that's not involved in making boxes because that wood is not coming into my inventory. That's just going into the uh, the crafter. So let's see, I gotta drop a little bit of dirt here. Oh, I've only got like five dirt. Oops. Uh I need uh I need more dirt. Biomass! Let's throw the biomass in there and make more dirt. So I don't have to manually get the dirt. Alright. That. Throw some more compactuses down. Throw some more iron down. Start throwing the sand lines down because we need the sand. And since I've got another crate ready, it's gonna make another medium crate. Inventory size is now 1,000. <laughs> So yeah, I don't have to worry about my inventory too much for a while. The only thing I gotta worry about is if I get like too much, like if I start getting like 800, 900 or something, I might have to worry about it. But now I can kind of let my inventory stack up a little bit. But I need to make more of these. I gotta make 32 earth orbs to expand my plot again to give me more room because I need to build more machines too. And in order to do that, I need the space for it. Alright, so I need... Well, let's go ahead and craft the plastic since we got some oil lifts. And, let's see. Transmutation. I need three more gold. Oh yeah, that's right too. I have to make compact sand. Um... I've only got enough for 13.
Hey, so this is uh, this game is so amazing though. It's just cool watching it. Like I, I uh, you can actually make like a really like big convoluted machine that does everything. Like you can plant like a bajillion things and have it all go into the conveyor belt to separate it all out into different machines and stuff. Like it's crazy like how complicated you can make it. But then once it once you do it the right way, like it's just so amazing watching it just keep expanding. And like I said, guys, it's it takes a little bit of manual work to start off with. Like the, I could I could build more machines for this, but the thing is, like the amount of space that you have versus how much resources you get out of this, sometimes it's better to do part of it manually for a while. So. I gotta craft a few more glass. Let me go ahead and uh, get 19 more of these so I have a stack of 20. And I can't do any crates right now, so it's no big deal. Um, let's see, where's the compact sand? Let's go ahead and throw the compact sand in and get more gold. Let's get the compactuses down. More iron. More sand alliance, of course. Then I think I can make an iron knife now. Yeah, let's upgrade this to the iron knife. So now we have the iron blade, which is even faster. Twice as fast as the copper blade. love watching this stuff flying around too like when you collect and stuff and it's just like stardew in a way where everything just kind of jumps out and just like goes in your inventory it's really cool all right so we have three more gold so we'll drop the gold down uh this that's still going i need uh i need more of these so let's just go ahead and keep crafting these uh, do up to 50 sand I want to keep some of the sand ready. There we go, the gold's ready. Now we have five gold bars. Uh, was that enough to build? Oh yeah, I can't. <laughs> I forgot. I've only got one crafting table. So you do. You sometimes too. You can make extra crafting tables just to like so you can do more than one thing at a time. Like it's not really necessary, but it does help. Like eventually, you know, I that was a, when I was doing my test run. I did have two two of these crafting tables so I could like do other stuff but it's not necessary. Let's see. Got any sand for that? I forgot. I need sand. Well, I should go ahead and put the uh, see, that's regular dirt. Go ahead and get that out of there. And we'll put the compact sand in there. Get that going. And now's a good time to build a couple more of these. Thirteen ten space now. And uh, let's see, what else do I need to build? What was I gonna build? I don't need anything else right now. Okay, now here I want to build more of these. So let's go. We'll do eight for now. I need a lot more sand for that, so while we're waiting for that, though, I'll put the rest of the sand in there. We'll, we'll put more of that in there. We'll plant that gold. Plant.
I have all the stuff. <laughs> The only thing about this game that bothers me is the way the inventory doesn't like reset itself, so you can't. Oh, crap. Okay. So you have to like kind of like turbo click everything to move it around, which isn't so bad, but it's just a little annoying that you can't manually click on it and just scoot it around in your inventory. I need some sand in there, so... Yeah, we need more sand alliance. So... Oh, I got more sand in here. Drop, uh... See, I have 534, so 434, and then I'll be able to go do something else. I know there'll be more than 434 by the time I actually get to 434. I just want to do that and make sure I've got that going. And we'll craft... Let's see, I don't have enough sand. So the next thing I need to create is this guy here to transmutation table. But I need sand to create oilers. So... I need oilers right now. So... Get rid of those compacted seeds while we're at it. And we'll drop a couple more coppers into the mix just because we can. And we'll do another medium crate. Now if I wanted to, like I said, I could save the medium crates and make like large ones. In order for me to do that though, I would have to make a, uh, a large crate thing and I would have to throw the copper ingots into it so that way there it would create the large crates and then I could take large crates and dump them in my inventory. Because the large crates require, in order to make a medium crate, you need 10 copper. So I would have to dump, like, constantly dump copper ingots in there. Which would be doable if I took the copper ingots here, or like the copper seeds, and actually um, grew copper. The problem is, though, like, the biomass <laughs> that I have coming out of the copper, I'd have to redirect it. So, like, if I wanted to change this whole setup, I could. So I could put, like... You know, copper seeds on. I could take like you know the planter going one way, dump all the copper into it, and uh, take the biomass and run it back through and kind of direct the copper into the other planter and stuff like that. So I could make it more complicated, and then that would give me copper to turn into um, copper ingots, which I could feed into a feeder for a um, a large crate. Actually, I'll, I think I'll try that, guys. Let's go ahead and stop the production here. So we have to kill that. Um, we're going to kill that, kill that, and then we're going to tear up all this stuff a little bit at a time. And all the leftover seeds are just going to jump back in my inventory. Alright, so let's say I wanted to make a more complicated setup. Say I want to make... A, um, what, like what I said, I want to make a, a run with the, the trees, feeding the copper, and then making the copper plant itself, running the biomass back into the, uh, the composter, and feeding the dirt, and then kind of just keeping that cycle going. So how would I do that? Here's the fun part. Okay? And this is, <laughs> like I said, this... This is starting to get in the level of, ouch, my brain hurts, type of thing, so. We're actually going to put this all the way over here. Um, and then we're going to dig up this two here. We'll put the harvester back here. Okay, so trees to tree seeds. We get the trees. Now we have to split the wood off to... The wood crate thing so we still need to do that but we also need to now get the biomass over but the thing is 
when the biomass creates, we have to make a way for our copper to get around there from the, the seed to make uh, copper seeds. And then the copper ingots we have to roll back around to the box. So, <laughs> did you get all that? <laughs> so this is where things can get a little interesting. I guess is the best way to put it. Now, I got to make sure I do this the right way. <laughs> this is good. I haven't done this kind of setup quite yet. Um, so yeah, I want to make... I need to go to the biomass reactor. I need the wood to go to the box thing, but I need the copper to go to the box thing, which means I need to go and I have to make a biomass reactor in the middle. So the biomass will actually feed this, the seeds, to keep going. Why did you not work? Because I'm an idiot. <laughs> Alright, um... The thing with the biomass, though, is I gotta make sure it goes in the right direction. So, let's see. Yeah, you notice how everything now is just kind of stopped. And that's a good thing because you can kind of play with it. Yeah, let me just manually harvest this and get out of my face. Ah. Actually, how many? We need 32. How many do we have? We have eight. Can I make eight more? No, because I don't have any sand. Uh, okay, let's get the sand lines going while I'm thinking about this. Like I said, guys, this is the automation part. But like I say, this is getting a little. This is getting. This is getting a little brain racking if you're not if you're not careful about it. All right, so I need. I need to see. I need the sieve to be in a place where it can feed that. The tree seeds, but at the same time, the copper seeds need to go the other way. The biomass react, the compactor needs to be there. The copper needs to be there. So. Uh, I think I'm hurting my brain a little bit. And then I need the biomass from the copper to go back that way. Okay. So I need to make another planter. So I'll make another planter. And we need to make another harvester. And with the copper, I'm only going to do the one because I'm going to have a lot of biomass coming out of it. So. Now, I've already got the biomass thing, so what I need to do is this needs to feed that. That needs to feed everybody. But I need the biomass to loop back on itself from the copper so that it can go to the box feeder to create boxes. At the same time, I'm doing everything else I need to do. <laughs> so, let's see. I might need to do something different here. Alright, so. I gotta think about this. Because I need, I need the, okay, so this is definitely gotta... I know these two are going to be stuck together, that much I remember. Um, but I need to leave room to feed the biomass from two different directions. So we're going to have to... Let's see if I... If I do this... Okay, that has to... That has to go that way. This is going to have to go this way. And I'm going to send tree seeds that way. 
and I gotta send proper seeds that way. <laughs> um, Alright, so the biomass compost, let's see, you gotta go... I need to be able to feed you from two different directions, so I'm gonna put you there. You're going to have wood and biomass, so I'm going to have to put a... I gotta put something here. I'm gonna set you going up. I'm gonna put you there. So... This is gonna be... Biomass. That's going to be wood. Okay. Okay. Oh, no, that's not going to work here. No, wait, hold on. There we go. Okay. And now with the copper. <laughs> now with the copper, I'm going to do that. I'm going to do... Okay, so I need to... I need to kick that up. Gonna do that. Now with the copper, I can feed the planter from here. That's gonna feed that, and that's gonna feed that. <laughs> you guys have saw, you guys have seen me like rack my brains here now. Okay, and I need to take so the wood is going to go this way so i need to take the wood i need more conveyor belts too <laughs> i see this now and i need at least one more of these oh i can't i gotta wait i forgot okay got plenty of conveyor belts i need to make one more of these that's why i made all that glass by the way Okay, so now we're going to take, uh, we're going to take the fruits of our labor, go that way, and we're going to take, uh, we're going to take wood, no, we're going to take the biomass that way, we're going to take the copper ingots that way. <laughs> gonna go like this that's fine because that won't go into that part it'll feed into the biomass reactor so now we have a two-way biomass feed um, so I'm going to put the the copper is going to go this way And I'm going to create a small crate autocrafter for here. And then we're going to create a large crate autocrafter for here. And then we're going to put the storage box there. And if I did this right, <laughs> if, if I did this right, which Lord knows I didn't, I might not have done this right. But if I did this right, um, we will have mucho success. But first, I gotta tear up my harvesters because I don't want this starting yet. <laughs> Is everybody following me here? <laughs> I know this can be a little confusing. All right, so we're going to go, so those are going to plant, I'm just feeding it, I'm just feeding it like this so I can get it started, okay. So we're going to put in, um, I'm going to put in, I'm going to put in 10 more, I'm going to put in 5 more here, all right, now the idea is, 
when I do this... <laughs> Hold on, let me do the Harvester 2 first. That's not quite... Okay, that's Harvester 2 here. Let me put that there. That's Harvester 1. Let me put that there. Alright, let's see if this works! <laughs> Alright, the biomass is going in the right direction, the copper's going in the right direction. The wood's going in the right direction. I think we got it guys. <laughs> there we go, the crate went in there. Actually, I'm going to put the rest of the small crates in there. Let's go ahead and just drop them all in there. Oh, uh, wrong, wrong one. I'm gonna put the small crates in there. Uh, hello! There we go. Did I do this right? <laughs> we got it, boys and girls. There you go. There's a more complicated automation. Got a few extra little nubs in there. But. If all is working the way it's supposed to, this ought to be self-sufficient, just the way the first one was. Because it's producing enough biomass to make enough dirt to make enough seeds. This might actually be making... This might actually make dirt faster than the sifter can handle it. Which isn't a bad thing, which means that I will always have seeds. Because the sifter will keep working while the biomass compactor is empty. And there we go, we got our first uh, medium crate. Uh, and now if I wanted to, I could add iron into this mix and make it really, really complicated. <laughs> but we'll leave that for now. And then I can make large crates. <laughs> Another thing of beauty, guys. I could be making more copper, but I don't need more copper. Like I could add like level two copper into, like I could add a level two planter into it. I would just have to move everything around again, which actually wouldn't be too hard to do. All right. Thanks, Paladin. Appreciate it. So yeah, guys, that's 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 the uh, the the goal that you're going for an assembly planter is to do this, where everything is just sort of doing its doing its own thing, and you can focus on the other stuff that you want to do. So like, if I want to manually, like I can manually still do stuff. Like I still need to make you know, trees and stuff. I need I still need resources for other things, but that's kind of taking care of my boxes for me. And as you can see here, that I've got way more copper ingots than I'm going to use. So if I wanted to, I could split the copper ingots off. Like, there's actually a thing called a splitter that you can split the copper ingots off and half of them can go into your inventory. If I wanted to do that. That wouldn't be a very hard thing to do. And then I could just run another set of conveyor belts around the side to put the rest of the copper ingots in my inventory if I wanted to. The thing is, though, the medium crate thing uh, will hold it. So that's one of the few problems, though, is because the medium crate thing is not um, doing the copper ingots fast enough. I think they're just going to start stacking in there. So I might have to manually go in every so often and just you know, take a few out <laughs> manually. It'd be nice if there was a way to split the copper off. Um, the splitter I don't think would work like that though, but if I was doing more than one copper at a time, then I could send the splitter, I could have a splitter send the other half of it off. How am I doing for actually bomb biomass in my inventory yet? I 
Like I said, once it, once it, once you get a setup to be kind of self sufficient, easy. You can ignore it and just do other stuff. Just check on your inventory every so often. Check on it every so often. Make sure everything's good. So like the crate, yeah. See, it just produced the crate, so there's no wood. There's four crates and ten copper. So the copper's the only thing I really have to deal with. If there was a way I could tell it to like eject half the copper, I would. But there's no real way to do it, so. It's a thing of beauty. And like I said, if I wanted to, I could add in something else to, like, you know, feed into that. So there is still room for me to add stuff in here. But then, of course, I want to, you know, expand my plot more, too. Oh, yeah, by the way, you can rotate this map around if you want to. Um, and you can tilt this. And zoom it in different ways if you want. So there's multiple ways you can play the game. If you don't like the particular point of view, you can change it around to something that you're more comfortable with. Yeah, see, now I've got space for 1420 items, so, you know, me harvesting all this biomass isn't going to hurt me too much. I'm only at, like, half of my inventory space for biomass right now. Alright. Um, okay, I need some more... I need some more compactus seeds. Let me finish planting all this other stuff and get it out of my inventory. Okay. I need some more compactus seeds. But I also need more sandaline seeds. Let me see. How many more of these can I make? I can make quite a bit, actually. We'll do eight of them. Because our goal is to get 32 so we can add another, uh, another space in this. Now, I do need more olives. So, uh, oil lives is sand in here. So let me go ahead and let me go ahead and just dump all the sand in there so I can make more oil lives. Because I need to make more plastic. So let's get the oil lives going. And uh, oh yeah, uh, I gotta wait for this to be done so I can actually craft the other thing I'm thinking about. That was gonna craft earlier and I forgot. I, Okay, so yeah, I need... Oh, I need five sand. Oops. <laughs> Alright, we need more sand alliance. Um, dirt. I fed all the sand into the other things, so now I need to make more sand alliance. And I can actually do the thing I originally was going to do. <laughs> I can sidetrack very easily in this game. It's very easy to sidetrack when you're doing stuff in this game, but, you know, don't let it, don't let it bother you. You know, just go with the flow, have fun with it, man. But yeah, I really like the way this game is set up. And, um... One of my biggest complaints about this game is the music. It's really loud, so even when you turn it down a lot, it's still kind of loud. And the sound effects are kind of loud a little bit, but thankfully the adjustments are really easy to do. The screen shake thing is really easy to adjust. Um, yeah, we're about an hour and a half into it. Um... I do want to show you guys the last little thing that I found here, but I need sand alliance, so let me get some sand going here. Let me actually get some sand. Oh, I got the... Let me just go ahead and use up the crates. <laughs> Make some more space. <laughs> and I'm actually going to keep this file, so uh, I'll... I may stream this game again because I do like it. It's a kind of cool, it's chill, and it's a good, it's an easy game. It's like Stardew where I can stop and pause and look at chat if you guys are chatting at me, and I, you know, it's an easy thing to play. All right, so now we have our transmutation table. What this does is it allows us to convert materials into other materials. So like if I want to take my extra wood, I can turn it into copper, or I can take my dirt. And convert it into sand without having to grow sand lines. I could take my dirt and turn it into wood if I want. Um, the lactite something I can't do right now. Uh, I could take my wood and turn it into oilives. Hey, no more growing oils, right? Uh, you just have to grow a lot of trees, which are faster. Cap up. Uh, yeah, I could take the wood and turn it into automatoes. I could take it. I can take copper and turn it into iron. And then I could take iron and turn it into gold, which means I don't have to make any more compactuses. I don't have to make any more compressed sand. I just have to 
bust out a bunch of iron, which isn't that hard to do. Um, so say like I wanted to create an iron facility. So here we go, guys. This is so if I want to create an iron facility, for instance, let's go ahead and, and make a, a machine to uh, turn iron into gold. Why not, right? Because iron into gold is one of the things I want to do. Um, I'm just going to convert all this land back to green for right now so I can see. Alright, so I want to convert iron into gold. Now, how do I make a lot of good iron? Well, that's the thing. It's hard to make a lot of iron in this game. Um, you can make iron... There's a couple different ways to make iron here. Now, the difficulty is actually making enough of it. You see, that only makes one, but it makes a couple of extra things that we don't need. This will also make one, but it'll make sand alliance. So, one way I can do this is I can make an automatic iron sifter to take the biomass from the iron seeds because the iron seeds do produce a lot of biomass. If you guys remember, let's grow one iron seed. <laughs> yeah, but yeah, it is similar. It is also like I say, it's got a lot to do with Factorio as well. Like if you've seen anybody play Factorio or, or Satisfactory, it's kind of like that too. All right, so this produces one iron and two biomass. Now what we can do is we can set up a longer planter. So like we only have a level one and level two planter here. I could do like a level three planter. Okay. It would take that much to make enough iron. The biggest problem I'm going to have is, though, like, there's a limit on how much iron I can make. Because I can only make one iron no matter what. Now, the other thing I can do to feed iron into this is I could technically take this medium crate thing out and convert this into iron ingots and feed it into the same system and just not make crates anymore, which is a possibility. Um, there's a lot of different things I can do here. Uh, one of the cool things I can do is I can make a level 2 version of this, split one iron off into uh, an iron to gold, uh, uh, a copper, no, two iron, coppers, make a copper to iron converter, feeding into the iron gold converter while the seeds make iron so I do have a little bit of a rotation going like I said the biggest problem is going to be is like I don't I won't produce a whole lot of seeds so there's going to be a whole issue with not having enough biomass to produce enough dirt to make enough seeds so it'll eventually come down to either me using one iron and hoping that the biomass, I, I can feed enough iron seeds into it to get the biomass going, which it won't be self sufficient. Or I can use a puller and feed iron seeds into it, and I'll just have to manually grow iron somehow. So I'll have to manually sift out the iron. And I can use the, the seed to kind of supplement it. So there's a couple different ways I can do it. Um, we'll take the... We'll, we'll make a planter. Convert it to level 2. Convert that to level 3. We can't make a level 4 one. Well, I could make a level 4 and I do have the gold. But I'm not going to. I'll make a harvester. We're going to make a level 2 harvester. And then turn that to a level 3 harvester. So, we have two level 3 machines there. So, like I said, what I can do... And i gotta make a, I got to make a level 2 version of this. Now, the big problem I have here is the fact that the copper seeds are going to keep stacking here. So, I, if I'm going to do this, I'm going to have to shut this down here. So we're going to temporarily shut our machine down again. 
this will keep going because this has a couple of uh, this got a bunch of copper seeds so that'll keep going and the seeds the the biomass that comes out of here will eventually keep feeding seeds into the machine so we do have like you see how many seeds we have so this is actually going faster than it's producing more seeds than the machine is capable of planting at one time so um I can also do this to kind of kill the uh, production. I gotta kill the production in a couple of places, I guess. I'm gonna have to stop everything. We're gonna kill the production here. Because I'm going to make a level 2 version of this, but in order for me to do it. Uh, see, I made a level 2 harvester. Oh, wait, I didn't make a level 3 harvester? What? What happened? Do I not have enough to make a level 3 harvester? Or did I goof? Alright, I got two level three. What? What did I just do? Oopsie. I oopsied a little bit. So yeah, we're gonna do that. We're gonna completely take that out. And I'm gonna make a level two planter out of that. So this is what we're gonna do. I'm gonna I'm gonna move this around a little bit. We're gonna incorporate two different machines together into one uh, into one unit. It's gonna require a little bit more work, but the result will be pretty spectacular. So that's the level two one. Right, so we're gonna put the level two in there. And go two like that. No, that's not right. I didn't want that. Um I gotta I gotta put it back a little bit more. That's too close. Actually, let me just go ahead and put it all the way in the back here. So here I know for sure I'm okay. Yeah, we'll do that so I'm sh I know I'm okay with the, uh, the space that I have. Right. Two spaces. Planting spaces. Yeah, I goofed. I gotta make a level 2 harvester again. Level 2 harvester. I don't have enough plastic. Uh -oh. Do I have enough oil lips to make plastic? I do. So, level 2 harvester. And. This is where things are going to get interesting, guys. <laughs> like I said, remember I said it was going to get kind of interesting. Now we're going to make a regular splitter. And then we're going to put that here. So what this does, since we're making two coppers, it's going to put one to the left and one to the right automatically because it's the exact same thing. We don't need to use a conveyor splitter because it's not two separate items. It's one item. So this will control that. So now this copper is one copper ingot's going to go over here so now we have to plant the iron <laughs> like i said this is where it's going to get a little interesting because we want to make sure that we can put the um we have to put the iron converter the we have to put the copper to iron converter there and then pump the iron into the iron and gold converter I think I'm going to have to, and I'm going to run out of space, which means if I want to plant anything, I'm going to have to expand this. <laughs> um, I can use a small spot. There's a couple of things I can do to kind of get more stuff, but um, right now I'm just going to try to do this. So we've got the, um, the 
copper, copper, one copper goes this way, and we'll feed that, one copper will go this way, into the copper and iron converter, but I have to make the iron, I have to make the iron uh, planter, so we're going to do that, and we're going to go one, two, three, harvester, now I gotta take the I gotta take the biomass and feed it back into another converter so I can actually make more fuel for this thing. Alright. And we're gonna have to make another one of those because I'm gonna need another one of those to split everything. Alright, so we can do that. <laughs> And uh, let's see, we're going to take that, the biomass is going to go that way, the iron is going to go that way, so the iron is going to go so we need to make the copper to iron converter. This copper to iron. Now we need to make the iron to gold converter. <laughs> like so. And then we need to make another compost bin. I'm going to make an iron compost bin. And then, oh yeah, then I have to automate the compost bin, <laughs> so, uh, automated, automatic iron composter, okay. And then I need to make, I need to take one of these iron seeds, I'm, uh, actually, can I build another one? Do I have the resource to build another one? And I'm going to make an automated iron seed. Now! Did I do that right? Yeah. So now I have to split the iron seed and the sand, the sand alliance. Big brain plays, guys. Now I have to take the iron seed. Oh, God, I need more automatoes. Uh, oops, I'm out of automatoes, so let's uh, let's just make a couple of automatoes real quick. I need more. <laughs> All right, I'm out of automatoes. Now the big problem is I don't have any more room to do anything else, so if I want to like plant other stuff, I'm going to have to use a tiny little strip and just kind of do it. Alright. Alright, so we need to make another one of these. Okay. Now let me cover these back up. So now I want to take the Sand Alliance and go that way. I want to take the iron seeds and go that way, and we're going to uh, go like that, <laughs> and then we're going to go like this. Uh-oh. I need more. One, two, three, four. I need five more, and I need a box. So I need, oh god, I need more of those. I need five more of these. And I'm out of automatoes again. <laughs> oh god, the pain right now. The pain, I need automatoes. I need automatoes. Alright, we're getting toward the end of the uh, thing here, but like I said, I want to do this just to show you guys this last bit. Alright. 
We have automatos. Okay. And then the box. Okay. <laughs> Alright, so, <laughs> so do you guys follow this? Okay, so. If you guys don't follow this, <laughs> I don't play you. <laughs> oh man, this is so funny. Okay, so if you guys can't follow this, I don't blame you. But this is the way it's going to work now. So we have our original copper and tree set up. So we're going to produce two trees. We're going to split off the wood, split off the biomass. We got this thing to feed the copper thing. The copper's going to produce two copper. One copper's going to go this way to make a medium crate. The other one's going to go up here and eventually make an iron bar to help supplement this. This is going to create three iron bars. It's going to split off the iron and the biomass. This is going to create a sand lion seed that's going to go here into our inventory. And the iron seed is going to go back this way to feed this. <laughs> okay. Here we go. Now I realize there's not enough iron and copper and stuff in here yet. Let me put like 50 copper seeds in here. I'm going to put 50 copper seeds in there. I'm going to put like, I'm going to put all the iron seeds in there. Let's go. So you see the copper? <laughs> now you notice that the biomass is going down because uh, it, there's only one biomass that comes out. Oh, maybe the biomass is going up there, isn't it? Oh, it is. Oh, crap. Um, oops. I goofed. I need another one of these. Okay, I guess I didn't quite have that all figured out yet. Alright, so the bottom one is going to be the... Oh god, I can't do it. Uh-oh. Wait a minute. I can do it. I can do this. I can do this. Star can do this. Now this splitter's right. The splitter's right. I just have to split off. I just have to get the biomass to go in a different direction. That's what's throwing me. I forgot this thing produces biomass. So I gotta go like that. Oh god, this is gonna get so freaky. Alright. So, I actually don't need this anymore. Okay. I actually don't need that anymore. I can do that. So, I need to get the copper ingot going that way. <laughs> okay. Okay, Star. Okay, Star Phoenix. You're not that crazy. And I, that means I need one more. Biomass goes that way. 
Ocarina goes that way. There we go. <laughs> there we go. I figured it out. I figured it out. It took a little going. Now the problem with the thing up here is it's not producing enough iron to really give me a lot of iron seeds, but I need to, yeah. Okay, so it's only going to produce one iron seed, so it's not going to produce enough iron for me to really do what I need to do, but it's giving me something. <laughs> so there's the overly complicated, I'm making wood for crates. Biomass to power this and that to create seeds for both of those. The seeds are going to go in here to create the iron for iron, the copper for iron, and crates. And this thing up here is barely creating any iron at all because I don't have enough iron. So one day this will actually produce enough iron to create a <laughs> gold bar. <laughs> Okay, so I didn't need a level 3 version of that. I could have got away with a level 1 version of it. And the sandalion seeds. Which are going to eventually be created by the biomass. Is there enough biomass in there? Oh, I think I'm out. There's not enough biomass. Uh-oh. <laughs> There's not enough biomass to power this thing. It stopped. <laughs> I don't have enough to keep this going. Oh, my dear. Uh oh. Well, there is one thing I can do. I can create a puller. I can't create a puller because I need more automatos. Alright. We need more automatoes. Okay. Now we can create a puller because we actually have automatoes. So what I can do to supplement this is I can put a puller here. And I can... Tell the puller to pull dirt. And now what it's going to do is going to feed that dirt. So I can actually produce more seeds. And it'll pull seeds kind of on a semi-regular basis there. So you see how it's feeding them one at a time? So now what it's going to do, they're going to stagger just fast enough. Okay, there we go. Now we got production going. I just had to feed more dirt into it. And the biomass compactor will keep making dirt. And I could have just fed dirt into the thing, but it's easier to put a puller on it. So yeah, there we go, guys. Fully automated, <laughs> finally. <laughs> there we go. Success. Big hunk and complicated thing that's... Almost feeding itself, but not quite because we have to make dirt to keep feeding it, but Dirt's not that hard to make But yeah, I hope you I, I like I said I apologize. This was a bit, kind of a long one I did warn you guys at the start of it. This is gonna be kind of long So I appreciate everybody who sat through the live stream and anybody else who's gonna be watching this later on YouTube and Facebook I appreciate you guys for watching through the whole video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it gave you some ideas. I hope you decide maybe you want to check this game out because it's really cool. And if you, like I said, if you like Stardew Valley at all, if you've ever played, like I said, Factorio, Ash Near, anything like that that has any type of automation system, if that kind of thing floats your boat, definitely go pick this thing up. It is available on Steam. It released August the 4th, so it's a relatively new game. And it is on Steam. The normal price is $4.99. There's a uh, promotion till August 11th uh, for everybody on Twitch. You guys will be able to take that as 20% off, so basically a dollar off. For everybody else on YouTube and Facebook, this video might not hit in time. I'm actually going to push this one out a little bit earlier than I do my other videos because 
Um, I want to get this out for you guys since it's a new release game. And I got a couple of the new release games I have to do my videos for, so I'm going to get all that stuff out. So you guys will see a lot of videos on YouTube and Facebook come out in very quick order. So, yeah, everybody who's been watching, remember, for later on, all the information will be in the description boxes down below. Thank you all so very much. And have a good rest of your day. Thank you.